Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Insha'Allah, all my brothers and sisters are well. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Hit that bell notification button. Otherwise, you will miss out on future uploads. Anyway, let's get going. So this is the concerning story of the British Muslim schoolgirl, Sihan Hamoud, 12, who was sent home from her Uxbridge High School in Hillingdon, West London, UK, every day for three weeks in December. OK, um, that sounds terrible. So she must have done something really bad. I'm thinking uh, along the lines of her disrupting class, maybe wearing too much makeup, being in inappropriately sexualized school uniform. But no, it's because she refuses to wear a shorter skirt. And now her parents, Idris Hamoud, 55, and Salma Yusuf, 44, face legal action over her unauthorized absences. So um, let me get this straight. They send her home every day for three weeks and tell her that until she complies, wears a shorter skirt, she can't come back. And then because she cannot comply, you know, wear a short skirt because of her religious beliefs, they put that down as an unauthorized absence and fine her for it. Yep, sounds about fair. So the school sent the parents a letter on 9th of December threatening action which I'll abridge for you. It said, quote, Seaham's absence is being recorded as unauthorised. Unauthorised absence may result in a fine being issued or legal action being taken against the adults. I must ask that she attends school in full school uniform with immediate effect, end quote. So, before anything else, it behoves us to look at this scandalous, morally depraved, too long skirt that will cause the moral collapse and degradation of Western civilization. What? Nah, that's just inappropriate. Who does she think she is? A supermodel? She should be on a catwalk, not at school wearing that. The school's clearly got a point. Now, Siham Hamoud only 12, has described being bullied for her religious beliefs and has said the following. It makes me feel left out because I can't see my friends. They aren't accepting me for my religion, and that's wrong, she said. I feel confused and annoyed that I can't wear what I want for my religion. I hope they'll change their rules so that girls like me can wear skirts to school. End quote. Unbelievable. You can just feel the pain and the confusion in her words. Just the way it all sounds. I think even non-Muslims will sympathise and question this school's cold and unreasonable behaviour. Something is just not right about this. It's like being told off for doing your homework on time or being too punctual. It's ludicrous on a basic human level. So, uh, Sihan Hamoud, I see you have attended school at a 100% attendance rate for two years. Well, you need to go away and think about your appalling and pathetic behaviour. From next term, you will take two days off every week so that we can bring your attendance down 70% like the rest of the children. How about that? Now, according to the article, she had been wearing this longer skirt for ages, years even, before she was pulled up on it. Siham's um, older sisters, Somaya 19 and Ilham 17, they both also wore the longer skirts to school without any issues. Again, so why did they let her and her older sisters wear the longer skirt for so long without any problems? Now, I'm not one to be overly suspicious about something like this, but something definitely looks fishy here. Has something happened in the background that made the school take this aggressive approach against this particular young girl? Has there been some kind of a political manoeuvring or pressure applied from certain parental teaching or governorship quarters? I think these are very fair questions. Now, to be fair, because Muslims are fair, just and honourable people, on a technical level, yes, the school has every right to have its own school uniform policy and it ought to enforce it. But I think on a higher moral level, this girl is showing the school a better way of doing things. In every other count, moral, spiritual, ethical level, even educational, which is the entire point of schooling, I think she wins hands down. 
Because we have seen how discipline and uniform standards have plummeted in schools of late, this has coincided with a drop in standards relative to world in education. It is the norm for girls to wear excessive makeup and dress provocatively in British schools. Schools have become hypersexualized places where children don't just learn equations, but also a deranged, morally dysfunctional view of life. I feel the school ought to make allowances for this girl for religious purposes, and in fact go a step further by honouring her bold resistance to these warped and unfair rules, and upgrade, upgrade its entire uniform policy in line with what this this 12-year-old Siham Hamoud is wearing. That's right, I believe that. I think this school will be taking a big step in the right direction by doing so. School discipline, grades, and the moral fabric of the learning environment at, the, at that school will drastically improve as a consequence, I believe. For now, at least, the girl is at home learning online, um, so getting some education due to the latest COVID lockdown. So let's hope and pray the school changes its mind and sees sense when schools return and this girl can resume her education without compromising on her faith and devotion to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Thank you for watching, my dear brothers and sisters. As I said, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Hit the bell notification button. It is your support that keeps me going. And assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And oh yeah, don't forget. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah.